like and subscribe on the way in the door, people. So since everyone seems to be talking about this, we're going to briefly discuss this as well. Dr. J's top 10 list. So it says in no particular order, it's, it's the first five, first team, Bill Russell, Will Chamberlain, Oscar Robertson, Jerry West, and Elgin Baylor. Second team, he has Kareem Abdul-Jabbar, Michael Jordan, Magic Johnson, Carl Malone, and probably Tim Duncan. Uh, I'm going to say this. Uh, we all know this is a Michael Jordan channel. However, despite it being a Michael Jordan channel, anyone who has older guys as their GOAT or their top five, I never have a problem with it. And part of the reason, as you know, that we say on this channel, like, I don't really get into stats because stats, you know, like I said, to me, stats only tell you what you did in the game. It doesn't tell how you do it. It doesn't provide the context around it. So when people say older guys, uh, they have older guys in their top five. They might not have Michael in their top five. I don't have a problem with that because I feel like I wasn't around to watch Will Chamberlain. Not, not, to, not to see with my own eyes, to be there at the games, you know, to feel what the culture was like at that time. You know, it's kind of the same reason if you watch if you've watched uh, my uh, why the '90s was the greatest uh, video, and I'm gonna be doing more videos about the '90s. But you know, I decided to do do those videos because, you know, like I said, trying to explain to a youngster, you know, what it was like growing up during the Jordan era, seeing those games in real time. You know, that, that's a whole different feel that you can't, as great as those highlight tapes are, and as many a young person that, that they have convinced that MJ is the GOAT, you know, is you, you can't, you still can't even get a feel for what it was really like during those times. So, so yeah, so when people have, you know, guys who I haven't personally seen and they believe they're the GOAT, you know, I, I don't have a problem with that. Now, I do 100% believe that MJ is the definitive GOAT. I believe that. But like I said, I don't have a problem um, when older, when older um, people from the older generation, you know, have older players as people who they believe are the GOAT. Uh, but as always... The, the the big so-called problem with his list is that he does not have LeBron James. And I'm watching the media lose their damn mind. Uh, I don't know. I, maybe I need to stop making videos about this because, I mean, how many times do I have to tell the fanboys, look, the majority of the world does not feel the way you feel about LeBron James. It, it just is what it is. The majority of the world does not think LeBron is the GOAT. A lot of people don't have LeBron in their top five or their top ten. And this is why I say, you know, this whole GOAT debate was a media-created debate. How can it be a real debate when the majority of people do not believe LeBron is the GOAT? Explain that one to me. Well, what are we debating here? Anyway, yeah, so so the media, you know, all these media personalities are up in arms about Dr. J um, not having LeBron on his top 10 list. And, uh, you know, it is what it is. But like I said, me personally, if I, if I didn't get to see a pl player play, I'm not going to argue with you about you know, if you think that, that person's the GOAT, because if you're around and experience, you know, the context and everything is like, is, you know, is, is much as I believe MJ is the GOAT, I am also understanding 
that, hey, if you didn't see these other players with your own eyes, there's just may be some things that you're missing. But anyway, quick video. I just wanted to touch on this since everybody else is talking about it. Uh, since all the LeBron James stands, fans, fanboys are up in arms that Dr. J did not have him in his top 10 list. I just wanted to touch on that. So uh, let me know what you guys think in the comments. You know, uh, yeah, whatever whatever you think about his top 10 list. I, I'd be curious to see, you know, how many people, um, you know, agree with his top five. You know, and that not, not everybody is going to have Jordan in their top five. You know, like I said, especially players from the older generation. I, I get it. Uh, but, yeah, let me know what you think in the comments. Have a good day. And as always, I'll see you next time. All right.